Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening, depending on where you are joining us from. Welcome to today's webinar on leveraging analytics in the streaming industry. My name is Shivashish and uh, I'll be your host for this insightful session today dedicated to a discussion on building a highly successful streaming business by using the power of data analytics. But before we get started with the presentation, let me just give you a quick overview of movie. And uh, established in 2011, movie, uh, movie is headquartered in the United States and it was founded with a vision to disrupt the OTT streaming market. Movie offers a diverse range of streaming products to its customers that cater to businesses of all shapes and sizes. So whether you are a small business or a large enterprise, movies, scalable and flexible streaming product portfolio can adapt to meet any of your streaming requirements. From comprehensive OTT platforms to fast channels, if you can go to the next slide, please. From comprehensive OTT platforms to fast channels, from on-demand streaming to live streaming, from audio streaming to video streaming, and from deploying websites and applications to, for mobile and TV ecosystems spread across 16 plus platforms, Movie has a solution for all your streaming needs that can be accomplished with just a few clicks without the need for any coding language knowledge. Our flagship product, Movie One, has been rated as the number one OTT platform on G2. And additionally, our live streaming product, Movie Life, was also honored as the best live streaming product of 2022 by the readers of the streaming media magazine. Now, if when we come back to the topic for today, I'm sure you will agree with me that uh, no business that uses internet can work without proper data interpretation and its conversion to actionable insights. And it is very crucial, obviously, for all the businesses that run on internet. So data is undoubtedly an invaluable and crucial aspect. And for a streaming platform success, especially it becomes uh, very crucial for the decision makers to get access to the right KPIs and other metrics in order to perform properly. To talk about data in detail and to show you how Movie ensures best analytics support for its customers, I'm pleased to invite Swagat Mishra, Senior Product Manager at Movie. Welcome to the webinar, Swagat. And uh, now, before I hand over the mic to Swagat, uh, there is a small note to the audience. You can keep asking questions from Swagat using the Q&A box that should be there on your screens. And Swagat will answer all of your queries towards the end of this presentation. Over to you, Swagat, and welcome to this webinar. Thank you, Sir Um uh, uh, Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this session. Um, so we'll quickly jump to the agenda. Uh, I'm Swagat Mishra. I'm the senior product manager at Movie. Uh, so today we'll be discussing analytics in the streaming industry. Uh, so first we'll uh, see the agenda, what it is about. So we'll we'll cover some of the key metrics to track some of the content performance and user engagement. Basically what you should be looking at when you are looking at engagement. Um, we'll also discuss what is custom analytics. We'll uh, see what it is. Um, we will also discuss uh, something about top KPIs and charts uh, that is important in the streaming industry. We will take a few example. We have, in this case, we have taken example of Netflix. You can tailor it uh, to your uh, industry. Um, We'll also uh, understand uh, uh, like how, uh, like which kind of, in movie, which kind of analytics we have in our different products. Um, we'll also uh, understand for a analytics workflow, what you need um, to succeed, how to build your workflow, how to choose the best solution for it. And then we'll also have a Q&A session. And now also during this, like I'll also give a demo of the analytics that we already have in our movie products. So moving on, uh, let's start with some of the key metrics. Um, so the, some of the most important uh, engagement metrics would be uh, for you would be like, you should be able to track your content performance. Uh, number one would be uh, num the views. Views is basically number of times the content is watched. And if I try to explain it, Technically, the way it works is that imagine you have a user who has started watching your content. So view is counted every time he or she clicks on the play button. 
either they click on the play button or the video starts playing automatically. So that is when our view is calculated uh, in the back end. Uh, next comes watch duration. Watch duration is the total time spent watching the content. So uh, this is an important metric like views only give you like how many people have started watching the content, but watch duration will give you an understanding of how engaging your content is. Are they uh, like watching the entire content or not? Uh, then we talk about completion rates. Completion rates is basically the percentage of viewers who watch the content from start to finish. So uh, if you have a three hours content, if people are dropping midway, then uh, you should be able to like go to your video, analyze and see why people are signing up to watch the content, what they're dropping midway. So you can analyze your video and take some decision accordingly. Then as far as user engagement goes, three active, uh, like three uh, KPIs are very important. One is what are the number of active users on your platform? You have to understand whether your active users are growing over time or like you have to do something about it. Um, uh, session duration will be basically the average time that users spend on a, on a session. Like if they have started using your platform or app and they uh, are watching the content, how much time they stay on the app before they stop using the app. So uh, that is something that is an indicator of how interesting your content is. Then interaction rates. So before you understand interaction rates, you have to understand interaction. So um, if you're building an, uh, a video platform, you would be having some of the social features. You should have some of the social features to track this interaction rate. So imagine you have a content and you have likes, uh, you have dislikes, you have ratings and other things that are available for that content that's user, that will engage the users. So that is something that is called interaction. And interaction rate is basically the frequency of the users interacting with this, uh, with this uh, uh, like, like comments and shares. So this will basically help you understand uh, how your users are more engaged with your platform or you need to do something basically to help them with it. Again, I'll show a couple of examples basically. Some of the, I'll go through some of the graphs um, and then I'll explain basically how you will you interpret data. And then we will, while giving a demo of the movie CMS, we'll do a more deep dive uh, in it. Okay. So starting with, this is basically how your view dashboard will look like. So here, if you see uh, at the top left, you have the total views. So over a, basically this is selected over a period of uh, 30 days. So you see that you have 226 views at the top left. So that is one indicator. But then we will also show you that, okay, uh, you are not uh, like maybe performing well. Comparing to the previous 30 days, uh, there is around a 34% decrease in the number of views. So that is something that will help you to understand, okay, should you do something with your content? Maybe you should be analyzing uh, uh, a bit more of why the engagement is decreasing. Uh, then at the bottom, if you see, uh, you have uh, on the X axis, you have the time period. On the Y axis, you have the uh, number of views. Um, so basically, uh, uh, on a particular time period, you want to, see the views increasing. So that is a good indicator. Um, um, okay, so here, what you have to see is like, how will you infer this data? Okay, so th this data is available in analytics. How will you infer and use it in your business? So here, if you see, uh, we have this peaks um, here, if I uh, go through here. So here you see, we have this peaks, right? So here you have to understand like, okay, uh, like how can I understand this data? So on this particular date, if you see, it talks about on the 11th of June, uh, the number of uh, views has increased, like it has gone past 50. Here it is at, uh, on 17th of June, we have uh, like around 50 in, uh, number of views. So you have to then go back to your team and then try to see if uh, you have launched any new content that brought in more views. If yes, then you have to target uh, new content, you have to bring in more new content, which will be more engaging to your users. So this is a kind of inference that you can do. Um, um, the next comes the watch duration. 
okay in the in the previous example uh just give me one second okay in the previous example it was talking about views right and like i explained views is an indicator basically people how many people they have started watching your content they may not have watched the entire content right so there you can uh, take help of watch duration so this is a graph that explains how your watch duration dashboard will look like so at the top or left you see okay um you see that okay people have watched around two hours of content right um so this is an indicator uh here basically we show this information that okay uh have you performed well in the last compared to the last period of time right so if you are seeing a uh, 30 periods of data over here then how do you perform so well, it basically it says that okay your performance is 60 percent better than the last time and then again uh, it's quite uh, similar the inference is like uh you you have to see like if there is a longer watch duration session uh, over here right so uh, the, again, here also you have to look at these peaks and the particular number of days. Like, what have you done? Some, have you done something differently in the platform where you are getting these peaks? Right. So these are the kind of inflation in uh, inference that you have to do uh, for your data. And there is a way to compare this. Like, if you see at the top right, we also provide some option to compare. I'll I'll give you a demo uh, that will uh, better help to understand this. Okay. Now, whatever I have shown you, those are basically pre-built dashboard. So we have different dashboard. We have uh, engagement dashboard. We have this revenue dashboard. We have user dashboard. User dashboard is something that is coming up. We are going to launch it soon. So these are the pre-built dashboard. You see some of the KPIs that we think that is helpful for you to uh, basically understand your business. But if there are some cases where you want to build your own dashboard, that is where custom analytics come into the picture. So custom analytics will basically allow you to create your own custom reports. So what we'll do is we'll give you, give you an, uh, 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 an open interface, uh, like the one that you see on the screen where you can select all the data points that you want to create a report for, and then you generate the report. So that report that you, you can access at any point of time to get uh, data uh, regarding your custom data. So here, how, how can it help? Um, so not all the businesses, like uh, after you have done analysis on the traditional way, like watching the number of views, seeing it over time, uh, which content have most number of views, uh, uh, all of that data, then looking at the watch duration of other analytics, this will allow you to create your personalized reports, right? You will also get detailed user insights. So maybe some of the data is not available there. You can create a report here. Now, um, then you can also make some strategic addition out of this based on the report that is available. Okay, so we'll move on now to some of the, uh, like streaming industry, we will see here, we have taken Netflix as an example uh, and we will, use Netflix basically in the next couple of slides to see their graph and understand how you can uh, use these graphs like uh, to understand your uh, subscriber growth and other KPIs. So this one, if you see in the X axis, we have uh, the uh, quarters basically over the years and on the Y axis, you have the number of subscribers. So here you can see Netflix has a steady subscriber growth over the years, they initially started off uh, from 2013, if you see the graph, they started off with 14 million users, then they grew, right now it is around 260 or plus uh, millions of users. So this growth has to be there. Uh, you have to keep continue uh, growing over this. Uh, if you, at any point of time, you see that there is not enough growth, like in Netflix, if you see, uh, if I just highlight this data. So if you see, these are the places where it's like almost plateau, right? It's not exactly growing. So you have to you have to take some strategy decision. If you are getting some kind of like here, also if you see the subscriber uh, growth is not there, not enough. So in these cases, you have to basically study. You have to see your existing reports. Uh, uh, talk to your team. Talk to your content team. Like if you, if you can change some of the strategies to. Uh, get growth. So basically, if you see the trajectory, trajectory should be like this. 
and here these are the places where you take some decision uh, on a uh, in a business um i can just quickly go through it if i'm going into the next slide so this one is uh, this one is again this is the necklace example uh, this talks about the churn rate right so churn rate is uh, it it basically here if you see on the x axis uh, again, it's a similar timeline. You see uh, the time. So here you see the time, and here you see the churn rate. So to uh, like you have to understand like churn rate basically talks about how many people are leaving your platform on a particular period of time. So here basically the churn rate is normally in percentage. You have to ensure that uh, the that the churn rate decreases over time. So uh. uh a churn rate which is which is like this is not a good indicator it has to go down like you have to go down over a period of time so that uh, basically you have to th this shows how loyal your customers are how like if they really like your content uh, so those kind of indicators you, you get from this okay moving on again so this is about arpu you have you i'm sure you would have heard about arpu so how much money you are making per user. So basically ARPU uh, is basically if there are uh, 100 active subscribers, then how much money you are making on an average from each subscriber. So this is uh, something that you can, uh, along with the churn rate, you can, you can combine both of them to basically understand if maybe people are leaving your platform because your price is high. So you have to analyze both of the graphs to understand if there is an opportunity for you to maybe increase your prices or maybe you have to decrease your prices to look into the long-term growth. Okay, um, now what is an analytics workflow? So whatever charts we have seen so far, first of all, if you are in the same industry, you need an analytics software basically to provide you this data, right? So in a software in an analytics workflow you, you there are different things like you have to collect the data you have to integrate with an analytics software uh, the data has to be processed at uh, right times then you have to do the analysis you have to uh, do uh, see the reports basically of uh, like the report uh, you have to create and you have to see at the visualization automation of uh, reports like basically if you want also you should you should be able to get uh, automated reports instead of coming to the dashboard you should be able to get automated reports in your email so this is something that you you have to, to look at um with movie with all our products analytics come inbuilt in our products you uh, uh, like you simply just take a subscription of any of our products analytics will be available uh, uh, some of the analytics that i have already explained the views watch duration all of that is available you can go to the CMS, you can uh, see the analytics. I'll give a demo on, on this uh, shortly. Um, so basically in, in the demo, what I'll do is I'll show the dashboard. Uh, right now I'll log into the uh, demo account basically. Uh, and then I'll show you which kind of data we show and how you can do a deep dive, how you can uh, get more information from the analytics that is available, how you can do it, you dive and get more information basically. So um, so I have logged in to the movie CMS. I hope the screen is visible. So you want to just confirm me if you are able to see this, see in the dashboard. Can you give me the yes, confirmation? Yes, it's visible, it's visible. Okay, thank you, Shivan. Okay, so this is, this is the movie on dashboard. Uh, I'll go through the uh, the analytics. So basically, when, whenever you log into the movie CMS, uh, on the homepage itself, we show you some information, some important information, basically your views, your watch duration over the past seven days. Uh, you see some of the trending content. So basically, the account uh, here, if you, uh, in the past seven days, some of the content, if they have, uh, they're trending in your apps, that is something that you can see here. You can do some filter. Uh, switch between uh, views and watch duration if you want to. Uh, I'll quickly jump into analytics. Like if you see at the left menu at the bottom, we have analytics. Here right now we have insights and revenue. User is coming up very soon and custom is next. So right now if you go to insights, so insights 
analytics will talk about the engagement right so here we have these two kpis again i'll increase the timeline a bit so that we can see some data over here okay so I, what i've done is i've selected last 90 days i see some trend over here i see okay i have some views i have on particular days i'll do an analysis so this this is the basic data that you get now you may want to also like infer some of this data like okay in the last uh, 90 days these are the number of views if i have made some progress like is my app performing well are my content performing well so this is an indicator okay uh, it will show in red if you are not performing well but it is showing that okay there is an eight percent growth over the last 90 days so if i want to see okay on these particular days okay i have these many views on maybe 6th of may i have five no views here i have a peak uh, total one number of views on uh, 5th and then over here on the 13th i have two views so here if i want i can do a deep dive i can select drill down the data by content um, so here if i see uh, at the bottom we get the summary uh, here you see the uh, list of content then uh, the views that they have got the watch duration they have got so you can get some more information over here if they have a lot of content then you can also use the search to find your content uh, uh, if you want to um, there is also more information like for example if you want to drill down you like for example in movie what we do is we have this option of uh, like allowing content partners uh, different admin like you can have different admin users so if you want to filter data by that you have this filters that you can use um, for example if you want to filter data by you have content partners right who are uploading the your content or maybe you have end users you are uh, basically users are generating content for you for a platform like youtube so those kind of filters are available here you can select this information and then see the data uh, so here basically in this account we have mostly the admin data and also you can um, search like if, if you if if you want to search by the email id that also something you can do you can also filter by video audio if you have more content then maybe live stream is something that you have that is also you can filter by uh, so here you can see also by users so if you want to see view by users right um so here you can see these are the most like these users consume a lot of uh, content um so if you want to also reach out to them that is something that you can do with this information uh, you get also geography wise data over here so you see the most popular geographies are listed at the bottom uh, we also provide device type information like where, where you have uh, where the consumption has, has happened we provide like if you have TV apps, if if you have taken TV apps, if you have, if you have taken mobile apps, so all of that data is listed here based on where the consumption has happened. If you if you want to do some comparison here at the top right, we have this option to show comparison of the data. You can compare the data with the previous data. Like so, if I reset the data, uh, I select last ninety days. So I want to see views last ninety days. So here. If I compare it with the previous data, so this is the data. So at the black, that is basically the previous data, and now I have some improvement basically. So you can do those kind of filters. I quickly also jump into the revenue analytics. So in the revenue analytics, also by default you get this. Uh, like if it will show you, uh, uh, like number of currency that is currently active on your account. Uh, right now it is showing USD by default. If I want also, I can switch to any other currency to see the analytics data. Here we have all these filters, like you can select country or the type of monetization data that is available. So for example, here, the type of monetization you can have PPV subscription and other data. Platform, for example, uh, it, it, this will help you to understand if people may be from the uh, iPhones, they are making a lot of purchases instead of people from the web. So those kind of information you can uh, find by selecting uh, platforms over here. Uh, okay, and then also if you are running some test 
uh, and a test transaction that is also something that you can select we have this filter for not an actual transaction there is a test gateway setup that is available during the initial stages of the account and of course you can use the date filters and in each of this analytics in each of the analytics data uh, you have this option to export this data as well if you want to export the data get some uh, you want to run it in your Excel or any other third party software, that is also something that you can do by using this export. Yeah, um, so that is it uh, about the demo. So mostly this is the revenue analytics you see uh, at the bottom, you see the list of all the transactions. You can search through it, you can see a, a total uh, revenue that you have made over the years. Uh, this is a trend basically, uh, have you, indicates basically if you have uh, if you are succeeding in basically in your platform um okay so now let's open the floor to questions so this is the demo of our uh, product so any questions or we can uh, go through them one by one Thank you, thank you swagat uh, it was a very nice presentation and i'm sure i'm our audience is uh, ready with uh, questions to ask you. So we have a first question that's coming from Rahul and he wants to know that how, but before that, uh, there is a poll that we are conducting. Uh, this is for all the audience. There is a poll uh, with a few questions that should be visible on your screens right now. We will request you all to please uh, use a minute of yours and fill, fill it for us. So now coming back to the uh, questions that the audience is asking. Uh, I have a question that's coming from Rahul and he wants to know that how can he use the analytics to reduce the churn rate on his streaming platform? I think you're not audible. Uh, if... Okay. Thank you, Shavansi, for stopping on mute. Okay. So like I explained, churn rate is basically, it, it, it gives you an indication of how many people are leaving your platform. Basically, it's not registered users. It's about people who have taken a subscription, they are on a plan and they are leaving your platform, right? So here you have to understand why users are and leaving and then leaving you and then you have to address those issues. So what you can do is you can track user behavior, identify patterns that leads to cancellations. So whenever there's a, there is a cancellation, uh, if, if you see a trend, like not one or two users, but a uh, bunch of users are canceling. Then you have to talk to your team and uh, understand when the cancellations happened and then segment the users by geography, right? Uh, you have to understand if the cancellations happened from a particular geography. What did you do? Did you do? Did you target that geography in the recent, uh, recently that uh, basically any change that you have done in that particular geography is something that you have to find out. You can also, uh, see the engagement, right? You had 100 subscribers or 1,000 subscribers, but maybe you are not adding enough new content in your platform. So you have to study the engagement and see if you are adding enough uh, content in your, new content in your platform. Uh, are people aware of it? Are they getting, are you sending them notifications when the new content come into the platform? So these are the, some of the ways you can um, reduce the churn. Another way would be maybe what you can do is with movie, we have this feature called Ali. So Ali is basically a recommendation engine. It it, it basically, uh, if you enable it, then users, it will basically uh, give personalized recommendation to your user. So maybe that is something that you can enable and see if people are, uh, people find it the content interesting that they see on the apps. I hope this answers your question. Uh, we have another question coming from Saj and we want to know that, uh, do we have the ability to communicate with customers directly to get feedback as to why they are actually leaving the platform? Uh, yes. So basically in, in movie, all of your users, you have access to them in the, in your, uh, in your movie CMS, you will be able to, see their name, their email IDs, people who are subscribing to a, like who have taken a registration on your apps, people who are leaving your account, you get all of the details. Uh, in the demo, I showed you how the revenue report works, right? So in the revenue report, you can see if there is any user 
if they if they have left you can study which kind of content they used to purchase but now they left you can uh, reach out to them get their email ids and maybe send a personalized newsletter or email to them you can reach out to them from the cmf now this answers your question question such we have another question coming from agnes and he wants to know that uh, what is according to you is the most important kpi or rather kpis to track for a streaming platform okay so we went through a number of kpis see some of the most important one uh, ones would be you have to understand if your users are growing the first thing if your number of subscribers are growing day by day so that is something that you have to uh, keep a track of you have to see if you have to see your churn rate are people who used to watch content are they living frequently uh, you have to see your engagement to understand if people are leaving then why they are leaving what what have you done then um arp is something that also helps you uh, along with the engagement data to understand if you can maybe increase the if there's an maybe opportunity to increase the maybe the subscription rate or if people are leaving maybe decreasing the subscription rates may be something that you can look at so these are some of the kpis that you can look at Okay, so we have another question coming, and this is from LinkedIn, and uh, to one of our users, one of our followers on LinkedIn, and they want to know that how can uh movie help in setting up the effective analytics workflow for their streaming platform? What is the process? Okay, so basically, I have already explained that normally what happens is that when you are building a streaming app you're, you're building a streaming platform um analytics is something that you have to take into account you have to integrate analytics in your apps right some kind of analytics maybe google analytics maybe some good but google analytics does not give enough information so you, you need some kind of advanced analytics so with movie what happens is that if you take a subscription with movie in all our products we provide analytics by default and the reports that are available by default, they have been carefully selected uh, based on the streaming industry trends. And at any point of time, if you want to get more control over your reports, uh, you can create either your custom reports or maybe if you want to connect movie to a maybe a third party provider like Power BI or a Tableau, for example, if you have access to those tools, you can connect movie to those analytics tool and analyze the data that is available so basically select a platform which comes with analytics integrated so you don't have to do much on your end i hope this answers your question and uh, this concludes our session for the day thank you so much swagat for taking our time and being a part of this webinar thank you everyone to, and to all our audiences, Movie keeps conducting such monthly webinars on some interesting industry topics and also to showcase some of Movie's best offerings. I would personally request all our viewers to keep a lookout for all our social media channels and also the website for a register, registration link to the various upcoming webinars. As a small token of appreciation, we would like to give you an informative brochure to view later. And that should be there on the comments if it should be on your screen. And uh, see you next time. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you, everyone.